this is a continuation of my last video. The link will be down in the description area if you wanted to watch that video and then watch this one. It's kind of a continuation. May set new global temperature records. The average surface air temperature of 15.91 degrees C was 0.65 degrees C above 1991 to 2020 average. Now there's going to be a lot of numbers going on in this video. I have no choice. It's the only way I can do it. But we're going to show you how high and how hot temperature temperatures are getting here in the U.S. and the rest of the world. But uh, this is pretty much a world phenomenon that's happening. So let's continue. This May 2024 temperatures extends beyond recent records. It is 1.52 degrees C above the estimated average for May during the pre-industrial period of 1850 to 1900. The global average temperature for the past 12 months reached an unprecedented level standing 0.75 degrees C above 1991 to 2020 average and 1.63 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial baseline. This period represents the highest annual average temperature recorded, highlighting an alarming trend in climate change. In just the first six days of June, 80 countries had already broken monthly or all-time temperature records. Nothing to be worried about. In Egypt, temperature reached an all-time record 50 degrees C or 123.62 degrees Fahrenheit. Ocean temperatures also set new records for 14 consecutive months. So that's just an, uh, an update of uh, what's happening. As you see in the last video, the CO2 count was going up and as the CO2 goes up, you notice that the uh, global average temperature goes up uh, both on land, the air, and the ocean. So that's all I'm doing is just sort of updating you on a continuation basis and we'll keep watching this as the uh, temperatures and things uh, uh, the temperatures both on the uh, land and ocean continue to rise now here in the u.s we just got done with breaking new records all over the u.s and the southwest of the u.s with extreme temperatures and look at it's only june i can't imagine what august and september are going to be like especially on the west coast and uh, what kind of fire season we're going to have we've already had uh, i think three major or semi-major fires here in california what is the situation where you live and uh, what have you seen that's going on and uh, let us know i appreciate all your comments your thumbs up and your new subscribers and appreciate the new subscribers and until next time